Welcome to the Southwest Report, a monthly newscast highlighting happenings across the district. I'm Janice Hernandez. McNair Middle School students received quite the surprise when San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg paid them a visit. Principal Anitra Crisp hosted the mayor, taking him on a tour of the campus. She has more on his visit. Janice, our students had a great opportunity and we're very excited to meet the mayor and ask him questions about our city's future. I was inspired by them, honestly. McNair Middle School students were excited to engage in a Q&A session with San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg. Uh, students in San Antonio are constituents that are, have an extremely important uh, perspective and, and also provide us great direction on how we can build a better city. The mayor answered student questions regarding job roles of our city's officials and other important topics. Well, I wanted them to take away the fact that they have a city government that is listening to them and that cares about what they are concerned with and, and want to make improvements to our city based on the hopes and aspirations that they have. The mayor hopes his visit will inspire students to learn more about our city government and the importance of being informed. After all, it's the young people of our city that are going to inherit the decisions that we make and we want to make sure we're serving in their best interests. I am Anitra Chris, McNair Middle School Principal. In honor of the legendary Dr. Seuss's birthday, which takes place in March, schools across the nation celebrated Read Across America Day. Read Across America was celebrated at all of Southwest ISD elementary schools, with Dr. Seuss characters visiting each campus. Hidden Cove Elementary hosted the Texas State Teachers Association for a Read Across America Day celebration in the cafeteria. So what I want the students to get from this is a love of reading, because if we can instill that with our students now and with the parents who came to support us in the event, if we can get students to get carried away, carried away with reading, can you imagine what their future holds? Special guests from NEA, TSTA, and SWISD spoke to the students about the importance of literacy and even gifted the students books. Southwest ISD was awarded an over $300,000 grant during the Pre-K 4SA second annual evidence-based grants showcase. The district applied for the competitive grant along with other ISDs. The funds will help improve programs and provide high quality pre-kindergarten to San Antonio children. Districts have expanded outdoor learning. They've gone from full day to half day. They've also uh, done extended day programming as well um, and, in, and enhanced their indoor and outdoor learning environment. Over the past two years, Pre-K 4SA has given $8.5 million in grants, serving over 4,000 students through competitive grant process. Several district art students transformed the hallways of their campuses in honor of Big Art Day. Students at Southwest High School and Scobie, McNair, and McCulloch Middle Schools use the hallways as their canvas for the day. Big Art Day is an initiative of the Texas Art Education Association to engage all art educators, their students, and communities in a single day art event. This isn't just limited to certain students because art can go a various amount of ways. It's open to about everybody. Just as long as you put your, your side of mind in it and you have an imagination, you can let your imagination run wild. <laughs> the goal is to raise awareness of art education and art as a creative force in our communities on a statewide scale. Sky Harbor Elementary is kicking off its sixth annual career day. Several different city and corporate companies came out to speak to students about the various careers available to them. Campus administrators hope this event inspires students to think about the future, even at these early stages of life. There's so many positions and jobs that a person can do that one would have never have ever imagined. That's why I try to expose them to just a different variety. Sky Harbor is always looking for volunteers to speak to their kids. If you're interested in the future career day opportunities, contact the campus. Congratulations to Southwest High School softball players Deja Tapia, Caitlin Salazar, and Abigail Rubio, who recently signed their letters of intent at National Signing Day Ceremony. Abigail and Deja signed to play at Laredo Community College, and Caitlin signed with Hill Community College. This is an amazing accomplishment for these students, and Southwest ISD is very proud. Also, congratulations to the district's communications team for winning multiple awards at the Texas School Public Relations Association Star Awards Banquet. The Southwest Report and the Southwest Spotlight were among two of the several award-winning projects that received this prestigious recognition. Congratulations to the team for their accolades. 
Thank you for watching the Southwest Report on SWISD TV. For more stories, videos, and other green screen productions, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We are Southwest.